Hi, Gemini. All right, let's see what is going on for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, somebody may feel bonded to you. There may be an instant connection with somebody, someone who's thinking long-term, or you guys are both in each other's heads. Maybe that's where you're confused. You may have some confusion going on. You're not thinking straight. It could be someone else's thoughts. Maybe you're picking up on them. Maybe someone is trying to, I don't know, put their thoughts in your head or do a love spell or something. Yeah, wow, wow. confused. So that's, it also says not sure what to do, needing to talk and their head is spitting, bonded, feeling cloudy, confused. Oh, okay, divine timing, okay. Can't let go, okay, I just wanna see one more. Someone's hiding possibly under the deck. Someone is hiding this or hiding from you. So I kind of feel like there's someone, or it could be you, that's feeling confused because like the, what they're picking up, the energy, the thoughts, aren't their own, it's someone else's. Someone may be trying to also confuse you. Okay, so let's see, what is going on here? Overall energy is Ace of Cups. Now, maybe for some of you this is someone new and it's like very overwhelming, but for a lot of you this is somebody that you do know. You've been around them. The Ten of Cups is how they feel. How they view you is Five of Wands. So that is, that's like confusion, not um, being on the same page. I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. Achoo. Seven of Coins. And then we have the Knight of Wands. For some of you, someone's just confusing you. Someone is like, I don't know if they're doing it on purpose because they don't want to let you go. Or they're fighting with you. Five of Wands can be arguing. But they're, they could be a younger energy or acting immature right now. But as I said, it's in each other's head thinking alike, but there's some sort of illusion, balance, or cloudy judgment and feeling confused. The divine timing. You guys feel bonded, but the person feels bonded to you, the sun, the world. We have the four of coins, and then we have the ten of coins. Maybe someone is just confusing you by the words they're saying or the actions they're taking. It's like the opposite. There's like love here, so it could be that this person's confusing you. Also, I do get like maybe picking up someone else's thoughts and it's confusing yourself because you're like not sure where these thoughts are coming from or something like that too. So like if you feel that way, it's showing up. So it could be happening to you, so don't think you're crazy. What is this world energy? Love, that's what I'm seeing. It's like this person actually loves you, wants something long-term, but it does say can't let go. Four of coins, can't let go, can't let go of the past. <clears throat> All right, feeling out in the cold without you. Okay, what is this for for cups? Messages, messages coming in, wanting to. I kind of get also, someone who wants to plan for a long term, but they don't feel like sure how to go about it. Like they don't feel like they either, they don't know what you want, they don't know how to, how to talk to you, they don't know how to, um, just because the Knight of Wands is here, it's the reason and the Five of Wands, but I feel like there's love here. Hiding commitment, hiding, yes. There is a small chance for somebody here that this person's already in a relationship and they're hiding that relationship. So be aware of that. I hate to say that, but the Ten of Cups is here with the Ace of Cups, which is new love. This person, I think, loves you, though, because the Two of Cups is in your energy. So there could be that you guys want the same thing, but one of you is already attached or something like that. This person may keep coming back to you. So be aware, especially coming up here, this week, I'm seeing a lot of conversations show up. I'm seeing things, people coming back. Yeah, they want a relationship. You're under the deck, tower. You see, I'm not surprised to see the tower. So it's like, this is actually, sometimes I read the under the deck either way. It can kind of go either way. So someone could say something and then you like crush their dreams, Jim, <laughs> or like maybe you towered it yourself. It could be Scorpio. or you moved or changed or something. But I would just, for somebody out there, I would just kind of like realize that you may be picking up a lot of their thoughts right now and emotions. That's important to know, emotions and thoughts and you're connected to them with those bond or a tie and it's confusing you. Yeah, somebody wants to be in a relationship here or they want you as the side person or they just wanna start over or something stable. I, this reading is actually beautiful if you look at it. There's all these really nice cards here between the two of you. There's love, lots of love. 
Uh, they maybe want a relationship or something long term. If you're younger, maybe they want to start a family, but if not, they just want to be together with you. They really don't want to let you go. They're trying to decide what to do. Maybe they're acting crazy. Maybe you're confused by their actions. They don't want to look silly, the Six of Wands. They want you to um, think they have it together. Wow, I did your reading and all of a sudden I'm getting stuffed up and I'm sneezing. I think this is allergies. Maybe some was a cold. Maybe someone's feeling under the weather right now. Take a chance, a leap of faith. Oh, got two more. You're someone's protected from regret. Taking the chance would be a good idea. Having fun, and there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. There could be somebody at like your job or I don't know, anywhere where like you just have something very common, like in common with them. You feel very bonded to this person. There's a very strong connection. And you're like, you just feel like you need to explore it more. Or this is a past person that you've known or been with and it's just like there's just a, such a strong connection between the two of you cool starting something new being happy being excited almost even being foolish jumping for joy wanting to work something out with you look at what's under the deck it's like they want to talk about this they could be a fire sign talking to you they could be a leo or they're trying to have the strength to have this conversation this person may be intimidated by you, Gemini. It doesn't matter their status, their money, how old or young they are. They just still may be um, intimidated by you. Maybe it's a spiritual thing. So just kind of keep that in mind too is what I'm seeing here. But they seem happy. Overall, your energy in the reading, I think this person just doesn't know what to do. It's confusion. It's like, so they're like really into you, but something may be just holding the situation back. Let's see here. Okay, so it says, memories of you are haunting me. I don't know what to say to you. I kind of see that. I think that's part of the confusion. Like, how do they start the conversation? What do they say to you? I've been lying to myself for so long. So this is someone who says they don't love you, but when they really do, or that they can't be with you or something. There could be two different races here, ethnicities, something where you guys are different, um, but that you're very much alike. That maybe what you decided to do in this lifetime to be the challenge so this lifetime, you thought, well, I'll be this, you know, background. You be that background. It's going to upset everyone, but we're going to go for it anyways or something. Um, you feel like home to me, and I love you more than I will ever let on. I like that card. I don't know. I mean, it's not a good card, but it's, it is. It's like someone really is in love with you, but it's just like they don't want to show it, or they don't know how to show it or tell you, or I guess it's not that great of a card, actually. I don't know why it just struck me as like deep love. When I pulled it up, it was like, this person really loves you. Like I felt it. But this is what the Four of Wands is though. You feel like home to me. This is a good card to match this. Do you feel like home to this person? Okay, let me grab a different deck here and see another, any other messages. I'm getting like the name Jordan. Someone's name may be Jordan. Or an end name like Nico or Natalie or Nathan or something. This is something that's faded. That's what I kind of get. I get, I get some of you pre-planned this connection in soul form and it's got all these things around it. If you can look at life from like a, like a game or like that we set it up and we have challenges that we're supposed to get through and that we planned it and it's a different lifetime, something new. I feel like sometimes it makes it a little easier. That's probably not the best way to explain it, but it's like you were faded or something. To be together in this lifetime you guys plan this maybe there's something about it too also with the, the cloudy judgment there's just something like you're like well this is just off it just seems different or weird or but there's definitely love here okay keep going someone is at not at ease peace is peace is in reverse but happy happy but you know why i feel peace is like in reverse somebody needs to get up and do something say something get going i, I think it's them they're feeling agitated they want to talk to you see you um on you yeah they want to go for this and I don't I feel like this is not a hollow victory or anything like that with the five of swords I feel like the five of swords is go for it you don't need to hurt people in the process or this person doesn't but they need to go for it they need to get rid of the competition they need to tell you how they feel they need to like to me sometimes it's like slaying your own dragon your own fears and going for something it's a yes card to me in the deck also yes it can come go with some um, what would you call it repercussions or come with some like you could hurt some people along the way, so you do want to be careful, but 
Yeah. See, if this person like took action, they would have peace. That's the Four of Swords. If they say something, which I feel they are going to say something or take action towards you, they'll be happy or you'll be happy. Now, this could be you feeling happy. And this person finally comes forward. Show me something else about this connection. Someone, I'm getting the word charity. I don't know if someone's, that's someone's name. That's a pretty name. But um, somebody work for a charity. Are we donating to a charity? I also got Peaches again. I get that name quite often. I don't know if someone, that's someone's nickname. They're talking about you, your body, something. Or there's just someone's name is Peaches. Someone's hooked on you. Yeah, they're hooked. I guess someone has an Instagram with a lot of nice photos on it. Uh, they spend a lot of time looking at that. Maybe on another social media. One more, please. Restless. Yep, that's at Four Swords. In reverse, that's that not at peace. Restless. Wanting to come tell you something. Hooked. They're agitated right now thinking about this and they want to be honest. That's exactly what I'm seeing. But maybe it's going to roll, you know, be like a, a gamble. So, again, there's something that might, for some of you, be just like a little off, but who cares? I mean, they could be like 20 years age difference or, again, just not your usual type. People might think that's odd you're dating them, but, I mean, if it's love, who cares? I know there could be family drama, though, if it's a different background or a religion or something, but, okay, what is going on? Oh, that just flew. The butterfly. So it says this relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. It could be like needing to heal the inner child of like confidence. Grow, grow a pair, like do something, take action. Maybe that's part of it. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.